everybody. How are you? Yes. All right. I uh, Googled the directions of this place. I'm a big Google guy. Let me ask you guys this. You guys ever Google something and then you notice on your Facebook wall there's an ad for the thing you Googled? Well, what the hell is that? I was on my Facebook wall day. There was an ad for sexy cougars. I was like, hey, Google. That was between us. What the hell are you doing, buddy? I thought I could tell you anything. You're blabbing the neighbors? Take it easy, you know? Now I'm all nervous around Google. Now it's like that guy I can't trust anymore, you know? Now every time I Google something, I'm very ambiguous. Now I'm like, uh, spicy Latinas for a friend. <laughs> can't be too careful. Uh, can I just say this to the ladies on Facebook? You're on Facebook, ma'am? Can you gals on Facebook just make a photo album called Swimsuits? All right? It would save us all a lot of time, all right? All that clicking, you with your aunt, you with your cousin, you with your parents, come on. What is this, a treasure hunt? Let's go. Give me the two-piece, jeez Louise. But that's women in a nutshell. Leave it on Facebook, you make us work for it, you know? Yeah, you're like, oh, you want to see me in a bikini? Well, you got to meet my whole family. <laughs> Good stuff. So I uh, walked around the village a little bit. Any gay guys here? Wow, all right. Oh, it took you a minute there, gay. There you are, all right. Um, love the gays. You guys are my favorite group of people. I love gay guys. People always say to me, Mark, if you love gays so much, how would you feel if you had a gay son? I wouldn't mind having a gay son, you know? Having a gay son's like finding a French fry in your onion rings. You know, you're like, well, it's not what I expected, but I like these too. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, not a lot of black people here. Oh, there we go. All right. Good to have you. All right. Race is uh, such a touchy thing in America. You know, everybody's very awkward about it. I, I was talking to one guy at my last day job, and I was like, hey, man, what's the name of that new guy on the fifth floor, the really tall black guy? And this guy goes, whoa, I don't see color. I was like, really? Did you really just say that? That really just come out of your face? So I, I looked this guy right in the eye and I was like, hey man, it's cool. I'm black. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, he was like, uh, no, you're not. And I'm like, ah, yeah. You may not be racist, but you are a liar. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So I, uh, I got to mention this. We're talking about ladies. I think women get the short end of the stick in the whole sex game. I really do. You know, guy has sex with a lot of girls. He's a cool guy. Girl has sex with a lot of guys. Everybody makes fun of her. That's not fair. It's a double standard. I hate when guys pull this move. They go, hey, you know, I banged that girl. I'm the man. They go, yeah, well, she banged him, too. And they go, oh, what a slut. <laughs> well, that's not fair. How come she's a slut now? How come she want a slut when she banged you? You never hear a guy say that. Whew. She banged me. What a whore. <laughs> Wow, you've got some problems, sister. Get your act together. This is a wake-up call, all right? Yeah. yeah, we're so mean to promiscuous girls in this society, aren't we? Slut, whore, she's loose, she's easy. Well, what is that? Don't we all like sex? Why are we getting mad at the one group giving it away? You know? no, we all like Banana Republic if they have a sale. Nobody calls them a whore. Yeah. I don't get it. Where I'm from, we got a black president, gay marriage is legal, yet sluts are still oppressed. You know? That's the one group in this country that still gets stepped on. And I'm the only guy sticking up for these women, all right? Yeah, even women won't stick up for him. Yeah, all right. Yeah, even women won't do it. They're like, ah, oh, these sluts will ruin it for everybody. No, you could put out two. <laughs> I genuinely don't understand it. I feel like if we're going to make fun of a group of girls, let's make fun of the prude girls, right? They're the boring, annoying ones. Let's kick them off the high horse. Yeah, they've had it too good for too long. Why do we reward these women? I don't put out till three months in a relationship. Yeah, because you have nothing else to offer. Get a personality together. Come on, kick it up a notch. Let's go. <laughs> Because let's be honest, prude girls, they're like mom and pop shops. We all pretend to like them, but they're more expensive when they close early. <laughs> Promiscuous girls are like Walmart, all right? Everybody makes fun of them, everybody talks down to them. When you're inside one at four in the morning, you're like, man, I'm glad these are around. <laughs> Thanks a lot, I'm Mark Vaughn. I start freaking out, I'm like, is that a pit bull? Please tell me you didn't get a pit bull. She's like, it's not a pit bull, it's a mix. Mixed with what, another pit bull? Look at that thing. 
Like, you ever seen a guy hit on a woman through a group of other people? Like, not, don't even bother walking up to her. Just, like, yells at her, like, hey, you with the tits. You guys move. What's up? I'm Greg. Like, that guy? 